Do you have too many meetings during your day and not enough time to work on tasks? Well, it's about time you meet with your tasks. In this video, I'm going to show you a few simple things about how to schedule your tasks so that you get things done between those meetings and protect the time for getting work done. Now let's start at the beginning of the day. Before you start checking messages and emails and chats, sit down and make a simple list of the tasks that are in the top of your mind. Just start listing them down. Don't get too bogged down into the detail, but just list them out. We'll work out the detail later. Do this for about five minutes and then move on to thinking about your messages. Let's check out email. Have a look through your emails and just see if there's anything there that you need to respond to. Whether it be it's a quick answer or maybe a task that's going to take a little more time. You can drag those emails over to the task list. If you've got that open in Outlook, you can open up the task list pane over on the right hand side or you can use the follow up flag to add it to your task list. And when you take either of these actions, they're going to appear in your to do list. The to-do application uh, integrates really nicely with Outlook, so you can see your tasks there if you have flagged them or dragged them into the list. Now let's move on to chats and messages in Microsoft Teams. The best place to do this is your activity feed. That's that little bell icon. I think of it as the inbox for Microsoft Teams. Go over there, take a quick look at some of the conversations that have been sent to you, and just, again, see if there's anything there that you need to respond to, or might be a task. You can use this nifty little tip where you can turn this uh, conversation or response into a task. Just use the ellipsis button, more actions, and create a task. These tasks will end up in your to-do list where you can order them and drag them around into different lists of tasks, and they'll also be visible within the task pane in Outlook. And now it's time to work out what you want to work on today. So all of these tasks, uh, you're going to find some time within your schedule. First of all, open up your schedule and see what meetings you currently have. Hopefully there's some gaps there. And what you're going to do is first of all, think about the meetings that you're going to have today. Are any of them going to take any preparation time? Then schedule some time before the meeting, around about 15 minutes. It really helps to get yourself into the context of the meeting. Maybe read something that you need to do to prepare or start to take some notes about the things that you want to cover on those agenda items for the meeting that you will attend. Similarly, if it's an important meeting and you want to be able to get some follow-up tasks done after that meeting, then book some time after that meeting. Again, 15, 20, 30 minutes, depends on how important that meeting is. But if you book that time while the ideas and thoughts are fresh in your mind, then you can be most productive after that meeting. And now that you've worked out how much time you want to spend on your meetings, bringing value, preparing, and also after the meeting, it's time to think about those tasks we added to the list. This is the essence of being able to work on tasks in between your meetings. What we're going to do is use that task pane over on the right hand side of Outlook and we're going to drag some of those tasks over into our calendar. Now think about the type of task. Is it going to take a lot of concentration? Maybe it's a creative task. Then think about scheduling 60 to 90 minutes. This will get you into the flow of work, allow you to be creative, to be able to write things and to be able to get things uh, done in a good chunk of time. If it's a medium sized task, then about 45 to 60 minutes is fine. Uh, maybe it's that you're responding to a message in depth, uh, that you've got to read a deliverable and work on that for a bit. Uh, but that amount of time is going to be good to be able to get a lot of work done and you're likely to be able to find a gap in your calendar to work on this task. For those smaller tasks, 15 to 30 minutes, like responding to a message or giving a colleague or team member a quick call, then just slot that into your calendar too. Drag those tasks over there just to quickly catch up with one of your team members and respond. Now a good tip here is uh, that think about the task and how much concentration you might need. If this is a task which you could just do sort of in the background without too much concentration, I like to change the availability of the, uh, the time that I'm scheduling. When you typically create a meeting or you drag a task over to your calendar, 
it will show you as busy within Microsoft Teams. And that's fine, you probably are busy. But if it's something that doesn't require a lot of concentration, then you could still make yourself available and open to chat or calls. So change the availability and show as available rather than busy. And this will signal to your team members that you are available. Uh, and within Teams, the online status will show as green. One other tip that's really useful, when you're using Outlook on the web or the new One Outlook, you can show your calendar as a board view. And this means that I have a board and I can put my calendar just showing one day and then I can put my tasks alongside that as another object, and I can easily drag the tasks over into the calendar. And this is a good way to be able to just quickly organize my day, and I often use the board and leave it up there as a view to show me what am I going to work on next, and what is my next meeting. And now that you've scheduled your tasks in between your meetings, work that schedule. Now you're going to attend your meetings of course, uh, but also honor those meetings with yourself. These are the tasks that you are going to meet with. Uh, so meet with those tasks, get work done. It doesn't matter too much if you don't manage to finish what you're working on. At the end of the day, you should have that satisfied feeling that you've got work done in between your meetings. By scheduling your tasks, you've managed to protect your productive time and prevent yourself from being double booked. If you found this tip useful, then take a moment, maybe even schedule a task to go and click subscribe and uh, maybe ring the bell if you're keen to hear more of this productivity tips from Modern Work Mentor. It's Daryl as a service. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.